Morning guys. We are at my range this morning. Me and Big Brother. Yes. Say hi to the big guy. Um, it was his birthday yesterday, but we couldn't come down to the range, so we decided to come this morning. It's a beautiful day. As you guys can see, very nice. Okay, Dwayne, tell us about a, a little bit about that piece of machine you got there. Well, it's a 44 Magnum uh, from Lama. It's called a Lama Super Comanche. Um, I got it for a very nice price here in my own town. So, uh, yeah, it's a remake or it's a, yeah, it's basically a, a remake of a Smith & Wesson. So, it's quite, it's pretty good quality and uh, unfortunately Lama went back, bankrupt, I think way back in the 90s. But, uh, yeah, the, those, uh, the few firearms that survived uh, still of, yeah, I would say really good quality. So. Okay, what are you gonna shoot? What is that? This is old ammo. Yeah, uh, this is uh, 140. 240 grain. 240 grain, yeah, on okay. points. So, uh, okay, let's see. We have uh, we don't really have something to shoot at, so we took a milk jar out of the fridge this morning and filled it with water. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, my ears like. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Safe to say the milk, uh, the milk bottle is uh, dead. Uh, so. there's nothing left. Yeah, that thing is amazing. Yeah, that's quite the. Uh, bit of power there so yeah uh, definitely and then you've got your nine mil beretta px4 that you shoot some target with yeah. yeah i'm busy doing sighting in um my new scope that i bought this week uh made a slight upgrade from the nxs to a attacker so um i've just sighted it in 100 meters um, and now I'm just going to test my loads for tomorrow's um, Wineland Open in Bonnyvale. Uh, I'm just going to do a tarot test quickly just to see that from 200 meters to 400 meters that uh, my horizontal and my vertical lines are 100% and then I'm good to go for tomorrow. Okay, so let's get to some shooting. And the wind's starting to pick up. So I need to get this tarot thing on the way. I love this new reticle in this scope. Um, in the NXS I had the, the normal MOR reticle and in the ATEC-R I've got the MORT, the one with the dinner, uh, thinner reticle. Um, and it's, very nice. I can see my my aiming point. Even if I put the crosses on it with the NXS, I couldn't. It makes it closes the the aiming point. Well, oh, dead center. Okay, so my 200 is right. Not gonna waste another one. Let's go to 300. Yeah. I'm just going to let it cool down a bit before I go to 350. Just want to get a true reading of, of the tire test. Um, let's do a quick review on the rifle that I'm using. I know the guys have been asking me. Um, I'm using an Accurate Concepts muzzle brake um, from Farney uh, from Accurate Concepts in George. Um, this is the new scope that I've made my upgrade to this week. Um, it's the 
to 25 by 56 ATAC. Um, it's very nice. The glass is insane. Um, I love the bigger turret, gives you that more elevation. Not that I'm going to use it on this rifle. And then I'm using the GRS Bifrost. Um, very nice stocks. I really like this, it helps a lot and it makes um, or it works the best for me with the shooting competitions that I'm doing in the field shooting. Um, and it's a Tika T3 Super Varmint. And then I just do a, did a GNG Varminting bolt knob that I've put on. This helps, it's very nice. Um, so yeah, and then that's just a little turret paper that I use um, that somebody that's also shooting with me in George makes for me, um, which I'm very grateful for. Um, so there's all the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's all the distances on. So if you have your distance, you just pull the turret to that one and you can just send it. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with the setup. I like using it. Um, the ammo that I'm shooting is uh, normal brass with 95 grain classic hunters from Burger. Uh, and then I'm using 365 now, but I've switched to uh, IMR 4350 and I get more constant uh, groupings with that because the spreads are never more than six to seven, where with some team you get like 40, 50 feet spread. So uh, I'm trying to switch to that as well as some team is not um, producing the amount of powder that they did in the past. So um, it's a bit dodgy sticking to some chemist powder but yeah that's just a setup that i use um, i use my gun to cool it down in this box that i showed you guys just gonna bigger just a better view of it uh, four fans there just normal pc fans one extractor fan and then i have the box with this little thing this little drawer that i put my stuff in my ammo and my shooting rests and everything and um, yeah it just works with the socket you put it in here and then it cools the gun down this thing works amazingly um, so yeah if you guys are interested we're making this so please give me a shout give me a message um, like and subscribe on our youtube channel um, but i'm done talking now uh, we're gonna have some more Lead flying down the range. Cheers, guys. Guys, I'm gonna talk Afrikaans because I'm too excited. I'm not gonna get my words. Die ding, vraag het doen. Het ons nou niet daar op 300 is in die einde van die baan. Het ons twee keer geskiet. Toe dus niet rechts en niet boer hij wat gong geskiet. Toe al ik die X-back uit en ik zeg voor hem geef mij betroon. Daar je niet. En die onder op 200 is oranje 200 mm gong. Nou, ons het dit nie afgeneem, want ek het gedink, wow, wat is die kant? En jy kan vir hom vraag, toe die skoot knap, toe flinch die ding amper van die sak af, en toe skiet ek vrachtig die 200 meter gong raak met die ding, en ek het op die gong gemik, met die, voor die pom ek nou. 240 grein, ons moet definitief een kroon en graaf kry. Um, to measure the speed, because we aim dead on 300 and 200, and I mean I've hit the 200 now, and the 300 was just to the right and just above. And he was aiming um, free and standing here on 300. Um, it doesn't help we shoot again because you can't see with the GoPro, can't zoom in till, uh, to the gongs to see. Uh, but 
Yo, I've just shot this thing on 200 meters over this X bag and it was on. I mean the the sight. The sight. Sides. It's it's the standard sight. You can't even see the gong on 200. I just saw. I just see the orange dot, and I just put the crosses on, and I line the sight on it. And then when I don't see the orange anymore, I just squeeze the trigger and it was on. Uh, we were blown away. We couldn't believe it. So yeah, that's a 44 for you. So I think we're gonna put a scope on that thing and come out and try and shoot this thing to 300 meters. So uh, it's capable of doing it. So uh, why not try? Look at this ammo. It's so where do you get a box PMP that still looks like this? I mean, this must come out of the 80s, 90s. So um, and we already saw if we if we shoot with this thing, there's still stuff um, inside the barrel. It looks like sand uh, grains. Um, yeah, like the, that stuff. So I don't think that this ammo is not even, it's not even supposed to shoot there, to get there. Um, but I think it's so inconsistent. Mine was definitely, mine was definitely luck. Um, we couldn't believe it. He was jumping up and down. I was thinking of how the thing flinched off the X bag. And I just heard, I heard the, the, that lovely sound that the gong makes. And he said, I've heard it. I'm like, I can't, I don't have any words. I can't say anything. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I think we're gonna load this 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 gun's ammo, um, and then maybe see if we can put a little small scope on, and then we'll take this thing out and we'll make another video and shoot on 100 meters, get it on, and then we'll go out to 200 and 300 and try to hit the gongs. With this little thing, it's amazing. Can't believe we just hit that thing. It's insane. Okay, guys, see you on the next one. We need to get back to work.